Hello gamers and welcome to Xbox and Pony. My name is Phil. My name is Nick. And Nintendo have finally stepped out of their cave, haven't they Nick? And they've decided to announce to the world all the greatness that is coming in 2020. I know, we have so much to talk about. It's amazing. Finally some Nintendo news. I know. I don't know what they've been playing at, but you know what? It was worth the wait. Every single eight minutes of it was worth the wait. It's amazing. And you didn't even join me last night. I was by myself. Like, you missed out on this amazing event. I know. I know. I, I, like, I'll have to join you for the Xbox One, but I'm not sure it's going to be able to stand up to the greatness that was this it's direct. It's very difficult to beat that. I mean... Sony's come strong, Nintendo's come even stronger, Microsoft has really got their backs against the wall now, like really, they're, they're in trouble. They're, they're in trouble, yeah. They're, they're, so, they're, have, has the sarcasm melted the camera yet? I think so, yeah. I think I think we, we probably overdid it a bit, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, so um, well, Nick, you know, put us out of our misery, tell us a little bit about what happened, just how it was announced, what we were given... Okay. And then we'll talk about so, the games. Go for obviously, it. Obviously, everyone's been talking about it. We mentioned that there was a rumor, and we took it with a grain of salt, but it was from reliable sources. Most of these sources says it was a full direct. Mm. And then it was announced as a mini direct. And not even that, it was the first time they've ever done this. It's a partner showcase. So it wasn't a Nintendo Direct Mini. It was a Nintendo Direct Mini, kind of similar to what Microsoft did in May, with third party only. Um... Now, apologies to anybody that loves Japanese RPGs because obviously if you're a Shin Matenzi fan, you're going to be happy with this this thing. Um, if you're not, then it was pretty much a waste of time. Um, five games, no, sorry, four games. There's DLC for Cadence of Hyrule and a physical edition, which is nice. Don't get me wrong, that's not... You know, it, it's not something you'd probably see in a direct, to be honest, but... Um, yeah, so DLC. You're season not wrong pass. there. It was um, an odd choice. Very odd, right? and they started with that, and yeah, and yeah, it was odd. Um, again, it's not bad. Like you know, I'm not saying this is bad. It's just an odd place to advertise it in these directs. Um, yeah. So, and uh, have you tried it actually? Have you tried that game? I haven't. I'll be honest. I haven't. Mm. Ha you have? Have you? I have. So, yeah. like, like to be fair, like it is a really well-made game, and it really does feel like the old SNES Zelda games. Yeah. You know, so, in term, I mean, I'm a huge, huge Zelda fan. So, it does play really well. I'm got terrible rhythm. Like, I <laughs> yeah. can't even handle the basic rhythm of it. <laughs> yeah. So, I've got to turn that off in order to play it. So, when they, when I saw that DLC released, my thought was, ah, oh, okay, all right, yeah, that's great. You know, that came out last year. It was a decent game. A lot of people are going to be happy with that. Um, and I remember being sort of slightly disappointed because I thought, ah, it's going to be one of the few Zelda games that comes out that won't come out physically. I'll have to yeah. wait for limited uh, run or something like that. So I was, I was pleased to see that that physical edition was coming out, but it felt like the sort of announcement that would have been more like Twitter appropriate. A hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it could have been a tweet and, and again, a little video, of course, on, on YouTube, but it didn't really need to be at this showcase. Oh, maybe it did because then they'd have less to show. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it, that, which, again, it wasn't bad, but it was just strange to start with that. Mm. Um, and then, obviously, <laughs> Rogue Company popped up, which we knew about. It wasn't a surprise or anything like that. It's coming out in Nintendo Switch. It's a third-person shooter. Um, it actually came out today it's out on all consoles. Well, i was gonna say it was an early access recently anyway yes right? it was actually people have already played this so it wasn't exactly a surprise and um it, it's it's out on everything too so they've shown this but it, it's it's again it's a multi-platform game so it's not an exclusive and again they said third party but everyone's looking for the first party then they went into wwe 2k battlegrounds um yeah again Unless this was a contractual thing, I don't know. We had reports earlier in the year that Nintendo had said anything we had in contracts for directs, just go crazy. Release your stuff yeah. Yeah. and go exactly ahead. Right. So, yeah. again, it kind of felt like filler. And You know what that game actually reminded me of? Because I'm not a huge wrestling fan, just 
to be straight up. Yeah, you know, no, so, and if I, I don't ex- mind it, but yeah, yeah I'm not, not, yeah. Yeah, if, if you're excited by these great games, fantastic. I really hope that you have a good time with them. Um, but to me, it just looked like, um, did you ever watch Celebrity Deathmatch? Yes, yes. <laughs> so these like claymation characters and yeah. all the, the body parts are kind of deformed and, and not quite right. Pretty and that's what it felt like to me. Sums it up. Sums it up really well, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yes. you know, again, maybe we're not the target audience here. And maybe there are some very excited, you know, WWE fans. And if you are, great. I hope you get to enjoy that game. I, I, again, the game doesn't look bad or anything. It's just, it, it yeah, the, the 2K is making it because the WWE games are terrible at the moment and they, they need to fix them. So this is just to make a little bit of revenue until the next one comes out, I guess, to fill that void. Band-Aid again, solution. I used to play the old wrestlers on the Nintendo and they were so much fun. And then obviously the PlayStation ones took over and they were so much fun. And I'm not a wrestling nut fan or anything like that, but wrestling games can be really good if done well and they can be fun. And that looks like it can have a bit of fun. So not going to downplay it, but it's again, it, it is a small game. It is filler. So the big, the big surprise, I guess, that nobody's seen coming was... Shin Megami Tensei 3 Remake. Yeah, um, that HD. was definitely a surprise. Yeah. So that was a surprise. And all those fans are, are going nuts. They're very happy. Very, very happy. Um, I don't want to get in trouble here, but it's, again, it's a Japanese RPG, and that's to a certain crowd. Mm. And if you looked on Twitter <laughs> when this was announced, obviously people don't read anything. I actually sent you a screenshot of it, and I hadn't read it. I didn't realize it was third party. That I'm guilty of it as well. So I'm not going to be nasty to anybody out there that started tweeting about Breath of the Wild because it was trending on Twitter. Breath of the Wild was trending on Twitter. Yeah. So that's how bad this messaging has been from Nintendo. Mm. Um, and then they gave us a full motion video for the fifth entry in the series, mm. which, again, didn't really show us anything of the game. It was announced. 2000 well that's the thing right it's it's been a bit of a joke in terms of like the switch game you know library because it it was announced in the initial it was one of the first ever games wasn't it yes right right? and it just became vaporware it just vanished right yeah like nothing season of heaven was the other one that vanished as well Uh, we're not going to see that that's not coming but it just yeah. yeah and then again we've seen it great it's coming next year but just a full motion video trailer, like. Well, apparently, and some of the footage, and I'd have to watch it again just to double check. Yeah. But apparently, some of that footage is actually the same stuff that they showed in the original announcement, wow. just with like obviously improved visuals because they've, they've just been working. Obviously, it's been yeah. a few years now, so it should look a bit better. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. and, and that, you know, they had the guts to even do a sizzle reel of the highlights after it. Yeah. So eight minutes turned into eight minutes 30 something and that was those games in a like yeah it was it was not good um unfortunately no. for if we were getting plenty of nintendo games at the moment no one would bat an eye everyone would go yeah whatever it was a okay. it was a partner one they we are starved for nintendo news nintendo games yeah if this is third party <laughs> my, and, be- and my nintendo belly is empty i just empty. need some bit of stuff in there and the, the Switch has plenty of games on it. There's lots to play. We're not downplaying the Switch. We both love our Switches. Great little travel buddy as well. We both took ours on the recent trip. So, again, great. But it's not even about having games. It's about knowing what's coming. As a fan and, and somebody that's invested money into a console, you want to know what's coming in the future. Um, and it's getting almost into Xbox territory, isn't it? Like. <laughs> It is, yeah. But like, even then, you know what was coming, right? Exactly. There's announcements that Halo. <laughs> you knew that coming. Ori was coming. You Ori's knew that coming. Battletoads was coming. You Light knew that Light's coming. Battletoads. There's. We don't have. I mean, and I can go over the list quickly, but no more heroes three and bravely default two are the only games with a 2020 release date for Nintendo Switch. Uh, uh, with some third-party games that are on all consoles, of course. But yeah. going by exclusives, mm. and again, both of those games are third-party games as well. They're not Nintendo games. So we literally have no release dates for any Nintendo first-party games at the moment. I know. 
And that's a bit scary. So what does that say? I, there's two questions that I'm going to have for you here. Yeah. One, what do we think actually is the current thinking at Nintendo? Um, and two, does that mean the fact that they have really specified that this was from their partners, does that mean that they are gearing up for a first party only direct at some point within the next few weeks? Okay, I'll, I'll keep the first question brief because we kind of discussed this in our discussion video before, but yeah. COVID has had an effect. We know that for a fact that the world events have had a negative but they've insisted it things. hasn't, haven't they? And that's like, the thing. They yeah. come out today and said it has the future games, like Microsoft has. They've yeah. said future games, you know, early 2021, maybe pushed to late, mid-21, and then later games in those years might be pushed into 2022. And Nintendo have come out and clarified pretty much what Microsoft and Sony have said, that everything's on track for 2020. The main things that had to get done have been done. It's just the finishing touches. So if that's the case, I mean, at the end of this, they said there's more partner directs to come. So hopefully that means Bayonetta 3, No More Heroes, Bravely Default. If they showed just one of those three games, I know. would we be this... I hate to say it, but we are being a little bit negative, I guess, but would we be just let down? If No More Heroes turned up with gameplay, we'd be going, oh, that was pretty... Yeah, but No More Heroes saved it. But that made it, it worth saved it. it. Yeah. It made it worth it. Mm. I don't understand. They've teased that game twice now. Twice they've teased No More Heroes. They've said it's 2020. Why couldn't there be a gameplay that's a small, just a, even a two-minute gameplay trailer to map this out to a big 10 minutes? So I think they're struggling. I, I don't know why they're struggling. Uh, we kind of brainstormed on this. The only thing I can think of is they really don't have a lot for 2020. That's the only thing I've come up with now. Hopefully yeah. I'm wrong, like you said, and there's a first-party announcement for a Direct very soon, and, and we get to see the Mario remasters rumours, you know, uh, there's Wii U ports. I mean, there's still a few Wii games, Wii U games they can port over, and I hope they do because a lot of people missed out on them and they are really good games so the main thing is the messaging mm. like sony and microsoft are saying we're having these events this is when they are we're announcing new games mm. nintendo's not doing anything they're just saying oh we're gonna have more directs okay but are any games from nintendo coming this year just mm. say yes there are and we will announce them when we're ready that's mm. that's all you got to do they're still stuck in their secretive society, I think, a bit yeah, more than the other two. So um, my instinct on some of this is that, okay, so we know Japanese companies tend to run a little bit differently. They do. Right? You they, know, do. Right? they don't tend to communicate as much with the customers. That, Like you said, they can often be quite secretive um, in how they actually um, do business. Um, and... I can understand the argument of saying, well, maybe they wouldn't come out and say, hey, we're having a problem. Right? I get that. Um, but there are examples where they have done that in yes, the past. You know? So the Metroid Prime 4 delay perfect example. is a yeah. perfect example, isn't it? Yeah. Of where they've actually gone, hey, taking the bull by the horns and it's gone, you know what? They will this didn't work out. You do need to know there's going to be delays. Don't worry about it. We're working on it. OK, that's it. That's it. You needed that exact same message. Just say, hey, look, I know it's going to be, we're not going to have any games for the next couple of months. Things have been a little bit difficult, but don't worry about it. We are working on things and we'll let you know more in October. You yeah. Know, yeah. Whatever. That's fine. It's That's totally it. fine. Um, so it is a bit baffling. It is it's a bit strange. baffling. strange. Yeah. Very strange. I, I, I mean, we know for a fact that Pikmin and mario 3d world is coming we know this like you know people that have reported on this that they're in the know and they've know this is coming so mm -hmm. again why wouldn't you just announce one of those even on twitter it doesn't even have to be in a direct you could just announce one of those if they can do paper mario as a surprise drop on twitter mm. so how is a major really well. game only being given a tweet like yeah. paper mario but then little games, like indie games, like Cadence of Hyrule, yep. um, are given their own, like, major, well, like a quarter yeah. of, a, of a mini direct. Quarter of, like, it's, 
it's, it's just baffling, isn't it? It's very yeah. strange. Like, and again, everyone's saying, was this a contract thing that they had to do? But you'd think with these times, publishers would be like, nah, it's cool. We can do it ourselves. Like, I don't think any of those games they showed in there had to be in a direct. I don't think any of them did. Um, unless you wanted to do, you know, a specific Shin Majemi one. But even then, I mean, that's two games that you can't really, you know, you'd have to go for a deep dive into those games. And it doesn't look like they're ready to do that with number five yet. So yeah. I think Twitter would have been better. Like, Unless they thought that it wouldn't have had the same impact. So Paper Mario going on Twitter is so is a big title. So it was going to explode. But if you say, okay. oh, yeah, there's Kane and Spiral to it. Yeah. Uh, DLC, most outlets probably would have ignored it or, you know, ignored wouldn't have made a big deal yeah. out of it. So maybe that's the difference is putting it on the Nintendo Direct platform guarantees that a certain amount of audience is going to see it yeah. as opposed to a tweet. I don't know. I'm, I don't work for Nintendo. I can't tell you. <laughs> but it does seem bizarre. It is some just odd choices yeah. going on very, at the moment. Very confusing. Um, I hope they're wrong and they come out soon and say we're going to have a direct in this month like mm. just announce the direct early it doesn't mm. i mean sony and microsoft have been doing it for ages now we, we know we have this july event we know we have both events from them in august so they're very sh- transparent and very straightforward so mm. that's yeah that's one of those things i guess we're just gonna have to hold out and wait and see what happens yeah garfield's clearly upset as well I just fed him, and... Yeah, but his stomach is empty of Nintendo content. He wants some Nintendo content. Do you need Nintendo content? Do you? Huh? You do, don't you? <laughs> he, um... Yeah, he's a bit upset. Um, we're going to have to send an, an angry tweet or an angry letter. The Japanese still do paper stuff, don't they? <laughs> hey, i tell you what I did see today is um, you can buy from My Nintendo <laughs> Japan replicas of the letters that they you know the invitation letters from smash really yeah, so there you go okay. there you go <laughs> that's interesting that's interesting yeah yeah so oh. so yeah so nintendo yeah you're prioritizing selling replica envelopes but uh, <laughs> where are your games where are the games um yes so yeah we've been giving it to microsoft and they deserve it um for about five years now very lame in the games department but uh, i don't understand a s- console this successful having this sort of a drought it, it doesn't make sense so and i mean well again there was a uh, need for speed from ea is coming we know that why wasn't that in there like ubisoft obviously got to have something for the switch they're a big supporter yeah. where's their game like uh, th- yeah it's very strange like all right, yeah. let, let's I'm try sure. and end on a positive here. All right, yes. so what, let's, let's see if you can think of two or three positive things or positive signs about this Direct, all right? So um, for me, the physical release of Cadence of Hyrule is a positive. Oh, uh, it's any, it's any a Zelda good game. Yeah. I would love to add that to my collection. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm pleased for that. And it's getting more content. It's got, like, uh, the Skull Kid in there and all sorts of bits and pieces. It looks like a lot of fun. So for me, that was one positive. Go on. What you got? What was something positive um, about this? There's another one to come. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's my positive. There's more to come. They did announce that there are more of these things to come. So mm. in saying that, it's not what we want. It's not a first party. But a positive is there's more third party content to come. That's mm. a good thing. So hopefully we'll see our, you know, our EAs, our Ubisofts and we the games we know are coming, Bayonetta, Bravely Default, No More Heroes 3. There's some big games there, so hopefully we'll see them very soon and we'll uh, be able to relax a little bit. There we go, yeah. Um, another good one for me is obviously Shin Megami Tensei uh, 5 um, finally <laughs> being shown to be alive. It's not really my sort of game, but I'm yeah. really pleased for the fans who've been waiting a long time. I know that there is a huge fan base and people are really, yes. really keen. So I'm I'm really happy for them. Like, that's and a really positive. They thing. deserve it. I mean, it was announced so long ago, and you know, the series has been going for a while now. So, um, yeah, really, really good. And there's one message I can give to 
Nintendo fans out there, stop review bombing, please. Just enjoy games. It's, I think that's all, it's all, all, all just review enjoy bombers. Games. Yeah, like, come on. Like, Last of Us 2 being review bombed. And yeah. The Shin Megami Tensei games being review bombed. Like, that's ridiculous. And then the, the, the computer bots that are going in and doing fake reviews as well. Time to get rid of review scores. That's <laughs> another discussion for another day, but that's that's where I'm at. Ooh, that, that's, that's a debate for sure. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Um, I, this is a positive because it's reaching. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, you know, if this is... If they've made the distinction that they are going to have partners, mini, um, mini uh, directs, that does suggest that that means there might be first party dedicated oh, directs. Yeah. At some point, I might be stretching here. Well, they, so you never know. We, there might be say, a dedicated one coming. Well, they did say they're going to be at E3. So, and everyone's been delayed. I mean, we're getting Microsoft's E3 this week so that's a pretty big delay from when it was originally announced so um you'd suspect that they should be able to give us something next month yeah but gamescom's coming man and they're not going to be there either yeah no. um and is it tokyo game show has been cancelled as well because um, yes yeah so uh, uh, I don't know. your options are running out here so you've got to do a direct basically it's got to be a direct uh, yeah. I, yeah you're right i think it's just got to be a direct that's all they can really do is just put out a proper direct and again even if they have to show us stuff that's been delayed and, and not even put dates on it mm. at least we see stuff it's yeah and if you make it a clear message you know at the start of the the presentation due to world events it's mm. hard for us to pin down a date but this is what we have coming soonish yeah, in People the next would understand. six months. They would. Yeah. yeah they would. We've they, all been affected by this. So we just want to see new content, and that's it. And, again, we we rave when we just see a full motion video trailer. We don't even need to see gameplay, and we get excited. So it's what we do as gamers. We just want new content, and hopefully they'll update us soon. Here's hoping. Well, next up at bat is obviously Xbox this week. So yes. if you guys want to uh, join us, Nick and I are actually going to be live streaming that event and we're going to be reacting to it in real time. I am genuinely got all my fingers and toes firmly crossed that this is going to be an awesome, awesome event. Um, and if they release or announce a Perfect Dark sequel, oh, yeah. I'm sold. Let's do it. Yes. I'm, I'm hoping for a Banjo-Kazooie and a Perfect Dark. That's, yep. yeah. But any, anything, anything good, new IPs, old IPs that haven't been around for a while, just give us something different and games, games, games. Let's make it happen. All right. Come on, Xbox. Don't let us down. They won't. Yeah. All right. See you Friday, guys. All right. See you. Bye.